Hey guys, uh, how are you doing? I'm doing well. This is Ranjan. Uh, today I want to show you how how you will do the port forwarding. Um, uh, why you need port forwarding in plus first place? Uh, is, uh, if your service provider is uh, giving you dynamic IP address through DSL, ADSL, or uh, broadband, and if you wanted to uh, use some kind of services um, from outside to your home or to your office. Um, so you will be needing an, a Dyn DNS uh, or some other service uh, kind of service which will give you um, uh, your dynamic IP address to a static host name um, service. So uh, today what you're going to do is we're going to use the dyna dynamic uh, DNS uh, to have an account. Okay. So here it is. Um, as you can see, I'm on DynDNS.com. Uh, now I'm just going to uh, say sign in. And it says the key an account. We are going to create an account for our purpose. Uh, I'm just going to say that um, username. Uh, username I'm going to use as uh, ddy and dns1. Password I'm um, going to say same. Or no, I'm not going to tell you what the password is. So for that guys, confirm email address. This is an existing email address where DynDNS um, once you complete the registration process, um, you will be receiving an, an confirmation email. So you will have to give the right email address to be able to check that. I am going to copy it. And pass it back to the confirm email. All right, so I'm just gonna have the default or whatever it is there. Then I'm just gonna type the mm, security image. All right, so I'm just gonna say agree, create account. So it says that we have sent an email. Oh, to the blah 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 to verify your account please check your email okay guys so I'm gonna check my email right now yeah it's exactly as it is I'm just gonna click that and saying that okay to confirm click on this all right please confirm your password so I'm gonna just say my password All right, guys. Now, uh, as you can see, I have successfully uh, created an Dyn ID. Now I'm just gonna uh, sign in, which is ddy and dns1. My password. All right. Uh, to be able to use uh, DynDNS services, we will have to add a host. So I'm just going to say uh, add host services. All right, here it is. Uh, I'm just going to say the host name. Uh, I'll just say this is complete love to you. Whatever I put as your convenient, you can use um, anything as you like. I'm just gonna say one two. All right, here the domain name, which, whichever you want it to. For now, I'm just gonna say dynamics.org. Okay, host with IP address. Uh, yeah, that's what the service type. What we want. Um, now we are just gonna say your current location IP address. All right, now we're just gonna say uh, VPN add to card. All right, guys. Uh, uh, so we're just gonna say that uh, next. This is actually a free service with the free account. You can have two DNS ID. If you have more than two sites, I'll recommend you to purchase the service, which is uh, early fifteen dollar only. So.
all right now as you can see my services is active already so I'm just gonna copy this all right guys now I'm gonna show you I'm, I'm gonna show you how to uh, do the port forwarding on your router on your router mm -hmm. All right, so how you know that what IP address uh, your router is having, mm, you can just go to start and on the search button, just press enter CMD. We'll have a command prompt, then apply the IP address, uh, IP config command. As soon as you hit enter, you can see that the, your uh, computer IP address, your subnet mask, your default gateway. Uh, this is the this is the IP address for my router, so I'm just gonna uh type that on internet explorer to be able to log into my router config page as you can see i have linksys router um most of the time you will be required a username password to be able to enter to your uh, router uh, don't worry it's always uh, default it's depend on you which router you have if it is linksys the default is admin admin your user id is admin password will be a admin uh, if you have any other vendor you can just always go ahead to their website and find find out which uh, uh, from the uh, user guide or manual um, the default uh, default password um, okay guys so first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to add the dns uh, id that i have created as you can see i have something configured i'm going to remove that so um, the user id it's my dns user id which was ddy and dns1 the password the password that i had created all right the host name the host name is not the same as username it's uh, something that you need to add a host name as you can see my host name i added it's not uh, as same as the username uh, the host name you have to enter the enter enter name along with the domain name so i'm just going to say connect now it's trying to, as you can see, they connected successfully. That means uh, my Dyn DNS ID is already synchronizing with the Dyn DNS server. All right, now I'm going to do the port forwarding. Uh, as you can see, it's application and gaming uh, portion. Single port forwarding you can do, as you can see, uh, port forwarding, range of port you can do the forwarding. Uh, guys, I uh, must tell tell that it depends completely up, up to you that what service or what not you want to use. Uh, for me, as you can see, I have already forwarded some port, uh, port 500, uh, port 4500. These are the port for the VPNs. So, uh, if you wanted to do some file transfer, you'll have to do FTP port. If you wanted to do mail, you'll have to SMTP and POP3 port. It depends completely up to you. Uh, you can these are the well-known ports uh, you can find them from internet just google them whatever services you like to um, uh, share so uh, here is the protocol that whether the port is UDP or TCP if you are doing some kind of um, uh, uh, VIP things uh, you can just select whatever uh, the range of port and whatever it's up to you completely here the IP address the IP address of your local machine where your service from where you are going to use the services if it is a Linux uh, if sorry if it is a VPN box you can just uh, assign the VPN box IP address here whatever service you can have multiple IP addresses depend on the services so uh, you'll have just have to enter the IP address always recommend uh, just uh, have the IP address the static IP address on your computers uh, and just uh, you need to click the enable button and that's it guys so, uh, just save it and just come out that's it now uh, if you have multiple sites to do them to do point to point VPNs or anything at all uh, uh, just because of dynamic IP address from your service provider you which you could not do before now through Dyn DNS uh, you will be able to do that. Hmm. Uh, thank you guys. I appreciate uh, uh, Maybe uh, I'll try to make some more videos on this